Very quickly, after two or three minutes, I suddenly realised the power that this man had. The feedback that he could give me, and the incredible way he set out how to set goals. Please give a warm welcome to David Heiner. I've, uh, I've just got so much value and, and results from my coaching call with David. What if, for every 200 negative assumptions we have about ourselves, Dave, I can't do that. Dave, I'm not very good at shaking hands. Dave, I'm not very good with numbers. Dave, my reading, my spelling's not that brilliant. David, I'm too tall, too small, too thin, too fat, too pretty, too ugly. David, I'm too clever, I stand out in my peer group. David, I'm not clever enough, I stand out in my peer group. Whatever assumptions we make about ourselves, what if for every 200 of them, only seven are true? And all the rest are excuses we use not to find out how good we can be in case our friends don't like us anymore. The process of massive goals involves you taking your big goal and breaking it down into bite-sized chunks. One of the key steps of setting and achieving a massive goal is being in a peer-to-peer -peer learning group. I call it a mastermind group. It's being surrounded with people just like you who want to achieve big goals. So therefore you get the support and the accountability you need to consistently follow through and not procrastinate. And then there are 3% of the population who are quite content to see something they want and go for it quite happy with the fact that they may or may not get it, but I'm going for it anyway. They charge. These people are rhinos. And, and rhinos, there are 3% of the population who tend to be more effective and out-achieve the rest of us put together. If you were to take action on even one of these things consistently for 21 days, will it make you more successful? Yes or yes? <laughs> yes. Would you agree? Yes. Set a big, fat, hairy goal. You decide. It's just terrific. Oh, talk about illuminating. So that last session with David Heiner, as it kind of developed, his one area about making assumptions was absolutely true. I felt he connected with me personally. You, you've talked about fight or flight, and obviously been aware of that as well, because there's times when it's you find yourself backing away and perhaps you shouldn't be. Typically, you've got two voices. You've got the good cop, you've got the bad cop. And because of the quality of people, IGDR, when you're pushed out of your comfort zone, the good voice kicks in first. The good voice goes, go on, you can do that. 